3D models helps to give you an extra edge to your PowerPoint presentations. And many people don't know about how to use 3D models into your PowerPoint presentations. So in this video, we are going to discuss how you can use 3D models, how you can add 3D models into your PowerPoint presentations. So hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Pandas Global. This is the 20th video in this MS PowerPoint course. And in this video, we are going to show you how you can use 3D models into your PowerPoint presentation. So let's get into the video without any further ado. So as you can see guys, uh, our PowerPoint software is open now. Let's just select blank PPT and let me change the layout into blank as well. So I have a blank sheet now. Now, in order to access 3D models, you have to go to insert and in the illustration menu, you have the third option, which is called 3D models. If you select this option, you got two options. The first one is this device. If you have already downloaded some 3D models into your PC, you can use those 3D models locally and you don't need any internet connection to use this. Okay. But if you want to download any 3D option from directly from MS PowerPoint tool, then you can select this option stock 3D models. But for this, you need internet connection. Otherwise, you can go with this option, this device, and you can use the local 3D model which you have downloaded. You can directly go to download and search for free 3D models for MS PowerPoint and you'll get some options over there. Otherwise, you can go with this option, 3D stock 3D models. Just click on this and here you get tons of op options over here. As you can see, many categories, all animated models, animated animals, animated for education, emoji, chemistry, anatomy, stickers, toys, tools, industrial, furniture, countless options are over here. Okay, let's select two, three em emojis so that we can understand how we can use this option. Okay, so let me select one animated one. Let's select this T-Rex. So as you can see, this is the animated one. Okay, we do have some unanimated one. Let me show you insert 3D models, stock 3D. So we have got only three categories with animated options. This one, all animated models. I mean, mainly these two are the animated only. And this one shows all animated models. Okay, then we have these options, which doesn't have any animation, but still these are some of the coolest 3D models. Uh, let's choose this guy with the sunglasses, cool sunglasses. Okay, so you might be thinking that it is looking like 2D, right? But if you click here in the center, you'll be able to change the perspective of this emoji as well. So this makes it 3D. Also, here are the 3D options, all the uh, orientations which you can use. These are the preset. Otherwise, you can directly uh, use this center option, center button to move anywhere you want like this. Okay. And same goes with this as well. If you select this, this T-Rex, we got this uh, option in the middle. If you click here, you can change the direction or the orientation of this. Whoa, this one is looking cool, right? And we have the presets with this T-Rex as well, like this. Uh, this one is looking a bit creepy. Let's go with this one only. So yeah, mainly we have these options in this 3D models. Let me show you one more thing. Let's add one more slide over here and go to insert again, 3D models, then stock 3D models. And here are the avatars option. If I click on this, we got many options. If I select this one, insert, you can use these avatars as well with these 3D, right? And we got some presets for these uh, avatars as well. And the thing I was talking about is you can do pan zoom as well, like this. If you want to focus on face, you can do like this. And it will be cut it down to this one. And you can change the perspective as well like this so yeah this was all about these 3d models in ms powerpoint i hope you choose 
or I hope you use this option wisely and make your PPT more interesting and more creative. If you still have any question or query, please comment down below. I'll answer those questions in the comment section itself. I hope you like this video and if you do so, please hit that subscribe and like button. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.